Hey students, here's how you do dividing a number into a ratio. This is something that I was made aware of today by one of the students who asked me about it from the homework sheet number two. This is question number four. Um, I don't think we did this in our class notes for ratios last term, so I hope this video will help you help you figure them out. This one's not difficult, but it does take a bit of writing, so be prepared for that. Uh, question says divide $25 into the ratio two is to three. And uh, I've basically taken this ratio and pulled it out. That's part of my setting out of my structure of my solution. I can imagine this as two parts is to three parts. That's why I've written here in pink. Step number one is to basically just determine how many total parts should we be dividing the number up into. So I'm gonna take the two, I'm gonna add it with the three, but I'm gonna write this out in English so I can communicate my answer to the person who's reading it. So the total part of parts is equal to these two numbers added together which makes five total parts. I just might write the word parts here. That's step number one completed. Step number two is to now take the, t the total money and divide it into five equal portions. So here's the money that we have to work with, and we want to divide it into five equal parts. Now, normally the way I would do this is I would just write in fraction format here, so I often do it like that. And I write parts down here. And then if it can be done in your head, you would just write the answer, which we can this time around, which is $5 for every part. Uh, if it can't be divided cleanly, then obviously that would have to be a calculator problem. So if it said 31 divided by five parts, that doesn't divide nicely, and so it would require a calculator. So now I know how many dollars it is for every single part, Let's go over back to our ratio here. If this side is supposed to be two parts and it's $5 for every single part, then it's just gonna be double the $5. That'll make $10. And so what we're really working with um, to finish this out, one out is we're scaling the ratio. We're gonna scale it up by multiplying both sides with $5. So my left-hand number becomes $10. My right-hand number, three times five is $15, and we're done. The, when you're finished, these two numbers should add back together to make the original money that you had at the very start.